Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Yesterday, went out to the river, got a big old freaking catfish and a bunch of shrimp. So today, we're going to make you up a beautiful catfish chowder with shrimp right over on the Dutch oven. Stay tuned. <music> So this video is all about using what you got and today we got catfish and it was a giant one it was like 13 and a half pounds so today we're going to use some of that belly meat from them it's going to hold together it's very um much like i don't know say like a scallop because it's um of the grains in it and that belly meat's going to go really great and keep its texture and we got some of them fresh Florida sh wild shrimp to go in there so we're gonna make up this chowder it's gonna be awesome and right now I'm gonna show you the ingredients for this dish the ingredients are we got some of that belly meat from the catfish cubed up right here and got some Tony Satchery's um, Cajun's um, Seasoning on that, got a little bit of bacon. You know, every single cast iron Dutch oven dish needs to start with some bacon. There's my wild caught shrimp, got plenty of them. Got some uh, triple cheddar cheese shredded right there. Got a little bit of milk if we need it, may not. We got some light cream right over here. And in this pan, I got some butter. I got a couple of red potatoes fresh right there. Also have a couple of red potatoes that I've also uh, these were came out of the freezer that we already blanched and cooked. They're nice and soft. That's going to help our whole dish to thicken up a little bit. I got one cob of sweet bicolor corn and some celery. And then uh, for seasoning side here, we got some more Tony Satchery's Creole seasoning. And I got some kosher salt and some pepper. That's all you're going to need to make this delicious dish. So today we're going to use our grill blazer grill gun to start up the propane burner. That helps to light all of the burners on that thing. Been really wet here and very humid. So grill blazer grill gun gets everything started. We got the 10 inch Dutch oven up on the propane burner. Let's go ahead and get that preheated. So while our bacon's uh, getting going over there, let's go ahead and dice these potatoes up. These are red skin potatoes. Grandma used to call the Irish potatoes or Irish potatoes. Go ahead and uh, using my dowel strong knife over here. And this is the one that uh, is a vegetable slicing knife. And uh, the greatest thing about this knife is your items don't tend to stick to side of the knife so bad hence these vents and knife blade so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dice a few of those up might not use all three that we got so we're gonna go ahead and get us a bit of these Up. They're going to take a little while longer to cook than a lot of the other things we got in here. So that's why we're going to start these first. Now 
gonna give these a little seasoning. Put the lid on. So gave them potatoes uh, about a five minute head start with the lid on them. Go ahead and put in corn and celery. Right on in there. Get a stir in. And at this point, I'm gonna put in about a half stick of butter. Give it some good flavor, oil, cooking those ingredients. At this point, do not want to brown it. So I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is fresh and local. So this is fresh and local to me. So. You can modify this dish to what you have fresh and local. If you're way over there on the west coast, you might have some mussels or Pacific oysters, Dungeness crab, whatever it is, you can take this base recipe we're making right now with the veg, and again, we're gonna go into the liquid in just a minute, but you can put in whatever you have. Hey, if you guys are out there in the Midwest, just that catfish alone gonna be awesome in this dish so fresh and local is fresh and local to you not necessarily fresh and local to me right, it's been a couple minutes there let's go ahead and give that a little stir got our raw potatoes in let's go ahead and put our blanched potatoes in and those are gonna help this whole dish to thicken up because they're gonna cook down really quick put those in and then uh, go ahead and give it a little season today I'm using some Tony Satchery's Cajun season that's uh we're actually out of our favorite season in some of swamp season so we gotta send an email over there and get some more of that if you like to try some Seminole Swamp Seasoning, just check out the description box below. I'm going to give you a link to that. And uh, now's the time. We're going to go ahead and put in our cream. I'm going to put in pretty much the whole pint. This is light cream, by the way. Not heavy cream, light cream. Go ahead and give that a stir. I'll bring that back up the bowl. So right after we put that cream in, I'm gonna go ahead back in there with some black pepper, about a teaspoon. Stir that in. Good already. And I didn't tell y'all this um, in the ingredients list, but I got some shrimp broth from the shells cooked in the house. 
gonna come back in there with that a little bit it's been going for a few minutes after since I put the cream in and for now I want to go ahead and bring over that shrimp broth I failed to tell you guys about in the ingredients list and that was made from the shells of the shrimp so it's already starting to thicken a little bit before I put that in there with those potatoes that were already blanched we got them helping to thicken up this sauce so bring that back up to boil that was pretty boiling hot so it shouldn't take uh, too many minutes I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my catfish nuggets they're cold so it's probably gonna bring that simmer down back in that chowder give them a little stir take a few minutes a lot longer than my shrimp so it's been about five six minutes since we put the catfish in gonna go ahead and dump our shrimp and we don't want to other cook these guys so they're cold so they're gonna bring that bowl down definitely going to be highlight of this chowder so we're going to let that come back up to bowl I'm going to cut it off turn that fire off serve this up for y'all and um, smells awesome I guarantee you that the shrimp should be done perfectly plenty of the broth nice hearty serving of that got a little basil on top there and uh let's go get in the fridge and get some cheese this is some triple cheddar right over the top just like that if you want to buy that no, beautiful you plate wish you guys were here to enjoy this with me Let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm. Wow. That broth, really good. We built those flavors up, including that shrimp broth. Do this whole dish in about 30 35 minutes so if you're out there at fish camp and you get you some fresh fish shrimp whatever you got like I said earlier in the video this is about fresh and local whatever you got in your area it's crab shrimps mussels clams whatever it is gonna be great in this dish right here just use this base put whatever you have in it fresh even that good old catfish from out there in the midwest gonna be awesome so if you like what we're doing please smash that like button right down there if you want to subscribe to our channel you can do right over there for another great backwoods gourmet video it's gonna be right over there and for a whole playlist cooking on that good old dutch ovens gonna be right there we'll see you next time